students and welcome to EML 1501, Emergent Literacy. I'm your lecturer, Mrs. P.S. Makura. My contact details on top there are telephone number 012-429-6582, the email address emacoops at unisa.ac.za. I think I've already outlined the, the communication uh, modes and as they stand there. Also note that for more information, you can also get into my UNISA to check the discussion forums and other announcements. Make sure that always you include your module name, your name and student number in your communications with the university. Okay, our lesson for today, we are going to discuss uh, how EML 1501 should be approached. Remember EML 1501 is a continuous assessment module with four compulsory assignments. By now you have completed assignment one, which is a quiz and two compulsory essay type assignments. The purpose of this presentation is to take you through the completion of assignment four, which is due on the 26th of September at 16 hours. Remember, when you on the day of the 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 uh, the, the assignment submission, you are not supposed to call the lecturer to outline your challenges because you must have started to complete your assignment. Uh, long time ago. So start by, 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 by writing your assignment and not wait for the last, the last hours of the, of the submission. You are also reminded that all assignments must be uploaded in PDF format on Moodle. What is also important is that emailed assignments are not accepted. Also note that as I indicated, we have four assignments, which is assignment one, the quiz assignment two, essay type assignment, assignment three, essay type and assignment four, which are compulsory. Assignment five is an elective that will only be written by students who were unable to submit any of the three compulsory assignments. Remember the quiz is compulsory. Now with the elective you are only be going to be given time to submit the elective if you did not manage to submit elect, uh, assignment two, three, or four. All students have to submit the assignments online and not through email. As I, that is very, very important because email assign, assignments will not be marked. Also ensure that assignments are in, in PDF format when uploaded. Assignment for instructions. Please ensure that you have the following to complete your assignment. Your TAT letter 105, which is on Moodle, your EML 1501 study guide. And I want to emphasize that please make use of your EML 1501 study guides. Most of the assignments that we receive, students are not using their assignments and we keep on referring you to the study guide. I don't know what which which study guide are you using to complete your assignments. Please make sure that you make use of your EML 1501 study guide. Now I want to take you through the questions. For question one, you are expected to read the scenario with understanding and answer the provided questions. You are asked to check the mark allocation when you answer the questions. This is a very serious concern because we have realized that most of the students don't um, check the mark allocations when they answer or when they attempt to answer the, the assignment. You find that the question says 10 marks, but the student has only written two marks, I, I mean two lines, which will only afford you two marks. So make sure that you, you carefully look at the mark allocation when you attempt to answer your, uh, uh, your, your, your questions. This question is all about assessment. 
as a student, you are required to read study unit five on assessment so that you can answer this question. This study unit will provide you with an understanding of assessment and the various types as well as tools to use when you assess young learners, uh, which is very important. Always check the mark allocation. I want to emphasize this. Question three. Question three requires you to, to study the unit on emergent reading. You have been provided with a picture to analyze and answer the questions. You are also required to have an understanding of the different reading strategies in the foundation phase. Question four. Question 4.1 requires you to read the study unit that addresses the different views of theorists on language acquisition. Now, I really want to emphasize that you, 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 you give yourself time as a student to read and get an understanding of the different views of this theorist because I've realized that students have a tendency of confusing the views of these different theorists. Now give yourself time and read those theories with understanding. For question 4.2, you are provided with a link from the internet to answer the question on the developmental stages of writing. Remember to also read the, 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 the different under emergent writing, read and understand the different stages of writing that a child goes through. That would also help you to answer the questions that are provided on the link. Question 4.3 is based on the study unit on emergent reading. Now question 4.4 4 requires you to make an illustration or a drawing of a picture of your classroom, classroom's book corner. Remember in a foundation phase a classroom or a grade R classroom, we have different layouts. There is a book corner, which is very, very important because the book corner is where learners are able to sit down on their own, take a book and read. That's where they become fluent in reading. Therefore, we encourage every foundation phase teacher to, uh, to make sure that their classrooms have a book corner. Now, I want you to give us an illustration or make a drawing of a picture of a classroom that has a well-finished uh, book corner that would assist learners or that would promote reading in, in, in foundation phase learners. The concluding notes of our assignment, which is very, very important, begin to write your assignment on time. Do not wait for the last day or last hour. Always check your mark allocation, which is very, very important. I'm going to emphasize this because I'm, I'm, I'm getting worried on the manner in which students are losing marks uh, because they don't look at uh, the mark allocations of the different questions. Always check your mark allocation when answering questions, especially essay type questions, because they require thorough discussions. Refer to your study guide and do not copy the questions from the study guide Wait by wait. Try by all means to put arguments in your own weights. Good luck. Thank you so much.